Good morning and welcome how to restore, how to regenerate, how to repair an original JWIC Seafront Bungalow, part 198. This wire here is for the porch, but we want it to come a little bit longer, like one foot. So we've got to follow this wire back and make it one foot longer. Now that isn't very hard. Watch, this is the, this is the wire. This is the wire, and there, and, and this will be for the lights in the porch. So we're going to put that there. So this is how it's done. You climb up a ladder like this, and then you get this wire here. And you basically feed it through these. Good. See how I'm getting the excess on these. Uh, I probably don't need a ladder. No, it's a lot easier if I did. It's one of them annoying jobs because the wires come out, which means you've got to go back and put the wire back in. But at least we know what we're doing. And we know what to call the electrician all day. <laughs> uh, no, he's all right. This is, this is me. It takes you about three hours to wake up. Well, he's had his problem with waking up, but then not being able to get back to sleep. Here we go. So you stand in front of you when you're cooking, when you're clinging. He just wants to be around the food, so <laughs> yeah, come and do anything you can so you feed him or you kick him out. French Bulldog. Out the bag, there's nothing in there. And now you're sniffing through the rubbish.
I don't want it anymore. I don't know for that. The wire is now longer. I have now threaded it all the way along from there to there. And now you can have a switch at the right height for a midget. And that is how to move an electric wire from that height to that height. Welcome to how to restore an original Javik bungalow. I've got plumbing to do, I've got plasterboarding to do, I've got fingers to heal, and I've got lots of energy to burn. Make sure you do something amazing too. Shine on. Diddly-doo. Diddly-doo, 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 diddly-doo.